Hi guys, so I'm here today with a bit of a spontaneous video. Um, I used to love doing nail art and probably as many of you did, I used to love watching Miss Jen Fabulous, who is now obviously just known as Jenny Claire Fox. But um, yeah, I, I was looking through all of my nail things and I came across this wheel. In my uh, in my drawer and it's nail art that I did a very long time ago as sort of um, when I used to do my friends nails I sort of used these as examples of what they could have done if they wanted nail art done so I thought I'd just go through with you and show you what sort of things I'm guessing this was a sesh feet top coat because oh my word they feel so shiny um, and I haven't had any of that in ages so uh, yeah but anyway enough of the chitter chatter so let's start here so first up uh, the unfortunately the greens are quite bright so the camera's not liking it very much but um, I might take photos of each of these to insert as well so you can see the, the colors but this is a very basic green light green base and I've sort of gone across the top in like a, a V shape there with a green of the same shade but a darker colour. Um, I can't, unfortunately I can't remember what polishes I used for most of these. Could maybe have a guess but um, I'm not sure. Next up we have the sort of what I call the three brush, three brush stroke sort of <laughs> design. So for this one I used a pale pink base then with a medium pink I came in and brushed one two three and again with a dark pink I went over the top one two three to get this sort of sort of like a cloud effect I suppose um, I used this effect quite a lot when I discovered it as I think it looks it looks really good and it's really simple so there's that one so next up we have a very sheer purple base and over the top just over the corner I first went in with a pale purple and then over the top with on the corner with the medium purple and I can tell you definitely this is pucker purple <laughs> I just know that's pucker purple <laughs> so next up we have um, a sort of leopard print attempt um, so obviously I used a pale a pale brownie base then I just went in with splodges of um, of a darker brown and using my nail art pen I'm guessing I went sort of just around the edges of the splodges there you can see. Very simple but um, it can sort of, yeah it just can be quite effective. Then we have simple flowers. This is done on a white base and I did use a dotting tool so I did the five dots for the flowers in um, an orangey colour and then just added the middle yellow dots. Very simple, very easy. Um, here we've got a pale blue base. I then did a darker blue using largish dotting tool um, and all I did then was in the middle of the large dark blue dots put a light blue dot. Um, so again another simple one but for anybody who doesn't do a lot of nail art they could look at that and think wow that looks you know that looks really complicated when it's actually not. Then we've got like a simple black and white stripe. This would have been just a white base with my black nail striper. Um, we've got a, a, I'm putting this on like this, that's upside down now. This one would, is like a French tip style. So I've put a pink with um, just pink glitter over the top. It would have been a few coats of the pink glitter. This is most likely the, my magenta glitter from Bami uh, Then there's a blue stripe. This again would be a white base with just my two blue nail striping pens. I have got the pens. Um, I've got a collection video on here, I think. I'll try and link that. Um, 
I'm not very good with using like nail art brushes and all my other polishes. It all gets a bit complicated then. Unfortunately, I don't have the time. So I do use the striping pens quite a lot. Um, then we have, oh no, I can't remember what these were called. So we've got the silver on the bottom with the black at the top. And I think recently these sorts of things have come into fashion again. Okay, then we have a couple of similar designs but with different glitters. Here we have a pale green and a, and a medium green, half and half, with a stripe of green, green glitter at the top. Um, I would have either done this with a dotting tool with my green one, polish or I would have had a green nail striper. And then next up we have a pale blue and a, and a dark blue with yeah my nail striper this has got like pink and blue glitter in it then we had the basic just a glitter topper which again this was probably magenta glitter from barium these designs i used to do a lot but if i put it on there like that it doesn't look right because it's upside down so here we've got a pale purple with a darker purple tip and I basically used my nail striper, I think, to go across the top with a line and then a line up, do a sort of a crisscross and up and up and then filled them in. If I ever get time, I might be able to show you this. Um, here, similar design, but I did it with just with yellow and red, so it wasn't a contrasting tip. Then we've got a very good dotter cure, I have to say. Those dots are perfect. This is a sort of a shimmery blue base with white dots on top putting these on, on my nails makes me want to do nail art <laughs> I might see if I've got some time later um, then we have a white base with just nail striper pens um, I think this was called like a waterfall or something I can't remember and finally we have this blue design so this would have been done I would have put a, a dark blue base then I would have gone in with a, a pale blue stripe up the middle and then added the white, probably with a striper pen, um, through the middle there. So yeah, so that's my basic nail art wheel. I just thought I'd share that with you because I was like, oh, and I found it. And some of them look really pretty actually. These ones here, they really love. It's also given me an idea for um, some stuff that I want to do. I've got a baby gender reveal. Um, to go to and I want to do sort of pink and blue nails so I might use some of this nail art for that so thanks for watching that guys that was a bit longer than I thought actually um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it sorry I'll stop spinning the wheel now don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time bye